Bar Wet Bar Tower. This is one of the games I brought back from the recent trip I had to Essen. And this is a great fun game. Picked up because it actually looked really pretty, but sometimes, you know, style over substance can ruin a game. This is actually a good fun game to play. Age 14 plus, two to five players, 15 to 30 minutes. I would say closer to the 30 minute side on this. Uh, basic concept of the game, you're in a forest, the forest is on fire, and it's kind of strange, you're not trying to put the fire out, what you're trying to do is send the fire towards somebody else's fire tower that's overlooking the forest. So, yeah, I mean, that's probably not the way you should go about sort of like patrolling your forest, but you know what, doesn't matter. It doesn't really work with the theme, but it's just good fun. So let's give you a basic overview of the game. This is set up for a four player game. Everyone will have a fire tower in the corner and you'll start off by rolling your, your compass dice and determining what way the wind is blowing. So we're kind of halfway through a game here and the wind is going north. So on a typical turn, you start your turn by adding another fire gem in the north direction. So this is north, I'll add one here. Then I'll play a card from my hand. The cards come in four different varieties. They will come in either directional cards you can play to change the direction of the winds, which will spread the fire in a different direction, or fire cards, we've got some here. For example, an ember card will allow you to move a bit of fire to another part of the, the board. Flare-ups allow you to place a line of three more fire gems. And explosions allows you to uh, place what's called the breaker here and surround that. So basically the bit in the middle can never burn again, but it's just bloomed out the fire. You also have water cards. They can be played to remove fire from the board. Uh, in different patterns here in the card, like a row of three or a group of four. And the last type are called, these are for building dozer lines or scratch lines. You can actually build up barriers of dead area which can't be burnt. So strategy in the game, try and build some of these up to try and prevent the fire from reaching your tower or try and fire fight towards the fire, try and stop it coming towards your tower. You lose the game once the fire reaches the back corner of your tower. Whenever the fire gets into your tower, there's only one way to put the fire out. You can't use any of the cards from your hand of five cards. You have to use your bucket. Whenever you use the bucket, you can remove the three and a line from your fire tower. Once that's used, you enter a mode called Reckless Abandon. Reckless Abandon's great fun. Whenever you're in this state of mind, you can start discarding extra cards to place extra fire in the direction of your opponents. So you're kind of just giving up on winning the game and actually pretty much attacking everyone else. Again, I can't imagine that's something a real firefighter in a forest would do, but like I said, it's not about the theme sometimes, it's just about having fun playing the game and this is really good fun. I've played this multiple times now. Um, just last night I actually tried a team game, so you can actually play across the board and uh, you know what? Every time it's been played, it's been played completely differently. Everyone tries a different strategy and the replayability on this is very, very good. It's a very, very pretty game. The fire gems are a lovely component. To be honest, whenever I saw this in Essen, they, they, these just grabbed my eye. I thought, what is this? Went over, had a look at it, and it was kind of sold on the components on the artwork. It's just a good, fun game. So, yeah, pick it up, have a go. It's great fun. It'll be played up here at Wii Gamers over the next couple of weeks. So, more than welcome to... Uh, Come up and play it.